again, day 13. Now, I specifically, I specifically said, oh, I'm just gonna skip this cutscene since, oh, how, how do I skip cutscene? <laughs> well, guess we're watching this cutscene again. Anyways, I specifically said last night that I would not be streaming today. You can clearly see how that went. <laughs> uh, oops. Anyways, I was expecting to have a ton of homework to do, but I ended up just staying up till 1.30 in the morning and doing it all last night. Also, I like the shooting star this effect here you get when you first unlock the Wistful Wild. However, after thinking about it, I'm going to finish up the Valley of Repose first. And the ship's not shutting up yet. So yeah, the ship is golden now, and you now have the president instead of Louie. I mean, apparently a lot of stuff is edible, as we see in Pikmin 3. So... First things first, I honestly have no idea where I'm going. So the last cave is right here, I believe. Okay. I'm just going to take the classic 20 of everything. So, we have one cave, and three above ground treasures, I believe. I remember where the cave is, and I remember where a few treasures are, but being perfectly honest, I don't remember where everything is. Apparently there's something over here. Okay. Right, there's one of them down. I'm just kind of following the raider, putting it to some good use for once. Spiny alien tree. It usually takes a few days for enemies to respawn after you've killed them, so that's good. Now, this I remember, I think. Yeah. I was thinking about taking more blues, but I think 20 might be able to get the job done. Because if I'm correct... The yellow come with me. So I lost two blues. 
Yeah. I'm certain this thing has a treasure. I'm pretty sure you could throw Pikmin from platform to platform. Or alternatively... Please kill faster. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I should have done something to stop that. No, no, watch this. Alright, Almar. Hey 101 Link, what's up? I'm sorry you have to watch this. <laughs> I hate fiery ball blacks so much. I did it. I can't believe that was really stupid. I raised up extra blue, so I'm not super worried. That was still really stupid. <laughs> Genocide. Yeah, I swear I'm better at this game than that. I just hate that specific enemy in general. And I didn't really have a backup plan for if I didn't kill it in time. Oh, you know, now that I'm thinking like a reasonable person, I could have just used another potion. As a matter of fact, that's what I should have done in the first place. Is what else am I going to use the potion on, really? Also, this treasure takes more than 20 blues. Oh, you swine. Well, okay. Oh, there's that thing there. I suppose I can bring that back now. How do I get this? And of course it takes 25. See you Reds. This is days going excellent so far. I've only made like what, 17 different mistakes? <laughs> so I need five more yellows. And ten more, what are you doing? And ten more blues. Just fill everything up. Hmm. 
Nope. That's a slope. Seeing maybe I could just toss them up there and that'd be good, but eh. Yellows are the best pick when Yellows are really good in this game. I mean, in Pikmin 1, they didn't really have much of a use other than picking up bomb rocks. But their weakness to electricity in this game makes them much better. Honestly, I really like blues and whites. I don't know, I just find them really cool. Alright, they got that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have some of them carry this out of the water and then I'll give it to the other Pikmin. Oh. And that way I can actually have a use for all these spoils. Instead of just letting them waste. I don't really know what kind I could give these to, but I'll find something. The yellow should be getting back soon with that treasure. I'm just gonna have a mixture of you guys carry all this stuff back and then once I get back to base I'll actually allocate it to the type I want there's that fossilize Ursidae which I kinda like how that's allocated as it is I'll still check and see what I have of every Pikmin type. say I don't really need more blues but I did just lose 20 blues so so I don't think I'm gonna get in the cave today I probably could have if I wasn't stupid but oh well Still a few more carrying stuff back. I think this is the last treasure. I forget if I needed three or four more. I really hope that's it. Temporal mechanism. Okay, good. How many blues do I have? 87? Yeah. I'm giving them this palette here. You don't really need that though. Wait. Oh well, I was gonna get a hundred out just so they would go straight in the onion, but it doesn't really matter. I have pluck a phone.
There we go. That's a very slight adjustment. Yellows have 73, reds have 70, I believe. Yeah. I'm gonna get a, a lot of this stuff to red since reds are usually the ones that I turn into purples and whites. So. Are, are you gonna pick this up? There we go. I do have all my Pikmin on you, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Pikmin 3DS is going to be good. Yeah, Pikmin 3DS. I I kind of forget about it, but it's going to be alright. I'm going to get it. Yeah, okay. I had everyone. And I don't really think I need more blues. I have 97. I already did the submerged castle, if that's what you were thinking of. So I don't really have to worry about getting too many more blues. I think that'd do a little more damage to a ship. I suppose it is made of pure gold, apparently. Yeah, lost a few blues, but went up overall. Some president you are, I just got back from vacation to find out you're on a treasure hunt. Don't bother coming home until you've found every la every item on your list. <laughs> I love this game. So yeah, all that's left is... Ooh. Let's see, I can't remember the name of this cave. I'm just drawing a blank. Now, I will actually take 20 of everything and head to the hole. Oh, hey, enemies are respawning again. I'm just gonna play absolutely no attention. these enemies respawned. I should be able to make it there without much harm. Yep, 
There we go. Onward to victory. What was this cave called again? Another cave discovered, venturing into the, to the farthest reaches has proven rewarding. Now go get that treasure. Thanks for the inspiration speech, I guess. Frontier Cavern, that's what it's called. Let's do this. Oh, what? What in God's name? Why would you do that? On something like that on me. I say it every stream and I'll say it again. Yes, I abuse this glitch. I don't care enough not to. It's still a really cheap spawning placement. So I trade basically traded one purple for three for four purple potions. That's not really terrible, I suppose. I much would have preferred no deaths, but oh well. I'll just wait for them to carry that back and then bring everyone with me. Sense of rage. Hard to see with all these plants around, but I suppose that's probably the style they wanted to go for.
There must be another buried treasure. Oh, thanks, 101 Link. Nice to have support. Yeah, it's another underground treasure. I figured as much. I don't have a really set stream schedule. The way my school schedule works is Tuesdays and Thursdays, I don't start school until 2.30 in the afternoon, and I have Fridays off. So normally I'll... S normally when I stream, it'll be either Tuesday and Thursday mornings, or pretty much any time Friday. I plan on... I plan on getting all the treasures in this game as best as I can, and then once I'm done this, I'm probably gonna do... I'm probably gonna go back to Thousand Year Door. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. There we go. My goal is to finish Pikmin 2 before my reading week, that way I can stream uh, Thousand Year Door all reading week and maybe even finish Thousand Year Door then. I mean, I've played through that game so many times that... Okay. I have a different approach. This is stupid. What's that there? What Yoshi do I want? Uh, not really sure which Yoshi I'm gonna get yet. I'll probably just go for green. It's the one I usually get. I think the real question is what in God's name are we going to name the Yoshi? I might just leave that up to chat, honestly. No treasures over here? No. Where are all the treasures on this floor? Well, there's one. Oh yeah, I forgot this cave has like a Christmas theme. I don't know what the point of that is. back and keep an eye on them. Nope, they 
made it back fine. <laughs> Joy receptacle. of progress. I mean, we're making progress. We're moving to the next floor. Wish you could have Louie in the whole game. Yeah, I've been more, I've always been more of an Olimar fan over Louie, but Louie's definitely better than the president. Oh, this is in. Oh, that's a ball bear. That is very much a ball bear. I didn't really see how many Pikmin I lost against that. Was it just one? Danger chime. <laughs> well, I mean, there was blatant danger. Let's take everything back there. They're just throwing all the elements of the rainbow at you here, aren't you? Aren't they? Ooh, Baldwin. I can get myself one Baldwin. And then probably immediately turn him into a white. Oh, and life gives you lemons. This is the last treasure, I just won't bother exploring the rest of the cave. I'll get the one Baldwin, of course, because why wouldn't I? Leading art form. No, there's still more. Uh, actually, I think I'm just gonna go in rocking it with everyone. One Baldman, who I'm certain will make all the difference for us in the world. There we go.
Screw it, plan B. They can't kill any of your Pikmin if they're already dead. Oh, where's the treasure? It's buried underground again, isn't it? Buried underground right here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, don't mind if I do. And I'm gonna follow them back just so I can convert this Baldman into a white and some reds. I know Baldman are great and they're immune to everything, but at the end of the day you can't take Baldman back to the surface with you, so I may as well convert them into something that I actually can take back to the surface with me. That's my logic behind everything, at least. I am playing the GameCube version. I... I own the GameCube version of Pikmin 2, and I have the Wii version of Pikmin 3. Or, not Pikmin 3. I have Wii of Pikmin 1, GameCube Pikmin 2. leave everyone behind and go to the cave because it doesn't really make a difference. But yeah, I I got Pikmin 1 about probably like six years ago now. Yeah, I think it was six years ago I got it for the Wii. And then I saw Pikmin 2 and I really wanted to play it, but at this time the Wii version of Pikmin 2 hadn't released in North America, so I spent eight months looking for a copy of Pikmin 2, finally found a friend whose sister had it, bought it off her for 40 bucks, and then a month, I think, not even a month, I think it was like two weeks after that, the Wii version got released here in North America. Oh, well, when life gives you lemons. And the Wii version costs only 20 bucks here, so I kind of missed out, but in all honesty, I actually kind of like the GameCube controls a little better. I'm not really sure if I like one more than the other, but I find for this kind of game, it just works for me better. I find I would, like in Pikmin 1, Pikmin 1's not really as difficult, so I'm fine using the Wii controls. But in a game like this, where there's so much you have to do, and so much you have to think about, I find the GameCube controls work better for Pikmin 2. Oh, hello. Please come down. Please die. There we go. Only took much longer than it should have, but oh well. Innocence lost? I don't get it. Alright, that's everything for this floor.
Yeah. And then, when it comes to Pikmin 3, I don't know, I didn't really like the controls in Pikmin 3. I just didn't really like Pikmin 3 that much as a whole. I never beat it 100%, I just beat it once, didn't really like it too much. And after that my Wii broke, and I had a friend who offered to trade me his Wii for my copy of Pikmin 3, so I just did that. So I beat Pikmin 3, but I no longer own it. I kind of wish I gave it one more shot, but... Oh well, what's done is done. I forget what these enemies are called, but I'm certain it starts with an M. And honestly, they aren't even really enemies. What they'll do is they'll slap the ground in front of them, which will plant any Pikmin it hits. However, it also immediately flowers them, so as long as you have Pluckaphone, they're completely useless. If anything, they help you. And even stranger is that one of these has a treasure. Yeah, there we go. He hits them into the ground and they immediately go in his flowers. Even if they're leaves, they will when they when they're slapped, they will come out as flowers. So like, I have a leaf here, so what am I going to do? Just turn them all to flowers. And he turned one of them back into leaves. do have a fairly big hitbox, so if they keep plucking your Pikmin, or not plucking, but I don't know what term you'd want to use for that, it can get a little annoying. What I'm going to do is get all of my Pikmin that I know aren't flowers. Please stop. That's, that's enough. You've done what I wanted you to do. Oh hey, I left these in... Musclar, yeah, that's it. I suppose another interesting thing to mention is that in Pikmin 1, the... there was like a child version of this enemy, which was honestly one of the hardest enemies in the game. It was called the Smoky Prog and it had a poison effect, but since White Pikmin didn't exist in Pikmin 1, they just kind of wrecked everything. Well, it, it was only in the game once. Did you pluck him in the ground already? Here we go. Where are my other Pikmin? Are there some planted over there?
and one of these, oddly enough, has one of like the power-up treasures. Oh, I see there's some here. I was gonna say where my other Pikmin at. There it is. Yeah, I'm not really sure why they gave a regular enemy. Uh, well, I guess it's not completely a regular enemy, since I think it's considered a boss enemy in Pikmin 1. Anyways, if you couldn't already guess what this power-up does, it increases your basic uh, punch attack. Which I guess would have been helpful when I was <laughs> trying to take down that fiery ball black. Brute Knuckles. I wonder if that's like some sort of Sonic the Hedgehog reference. Wait, no. Probably not. One, two, punch. So yeah, I guess I'll just show it. You now have that attack. That attack does a fair amount of damage. I'll show that attack off at a much later time. Since there is one cave where I do something really stupid, but it works. Is everyone flowered? Yep, from the looks of it. Let's move on. Oh, that's really unwelcoming enemies close to spawn. Oh, that's that's really unwelcoming. Ooh, this is really unwelcoming. I'm just gonna just gonna yeah, let's just let's just hit that reset button. Let's uh let's just take that from the top there. <laughs> just, just post an emoji. There's there's no words that can really destroy describe that you get something that isn't that's a little more welcoming let me get my one baldman again oh no never mind Excellent sep excellent separation. Okay, so I've got a wall of dead corpses protecting me this time. Well, K 
can't really do anything else unless it's blue, so... Yep. I was thinking it was odd that they gave us a blue candy pop bud the earlier floor too. Now I see why. That's a terrible idea. I think I might go with plan B actually. There we go, he's lured. Come on, you were already dead. Screw off. Oh, I lost two purples. How do I want to go about this? Let's do something a little different. They went in the water. Shouldn't they have gone off fire? No, 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 no. There we go. Take this. I guess I'll have to get these pieces back one at a time. Everyone in their life has played like chess at least once, but in all honesty, I've n I've rarely played chess, and I don't really even know how to play it. Like if you asked me off the top of my head how you play chess, I wouldn't be able to answer it. Priceless statue. It's just never been something I really knew how to do. I think it's safe to assume that this is the last treasure. Of this floor, at least. Is there a way to view earned treasures? No. You can see this. <coughs> so we're only missing two more types of upgrades. One of which we get at the bottom of this, despite already getting the rocket fist, or whatever it was called. Forget how many sub levels this place has again. I want to say it's like nine. It might have double digits though. Worthless statue. <laughs> That's good. So one's pri- But didn't they- Weren't they worth the same amount of Pocos? Weren't they both worth 80? Candy pop bud. Area, area. Alright. Uh. Let's start by killing you. 
Okay, now we're getting into the fun hazards of this game. I don't think we've had an example of these yet, but these are like the rockfall hazards. Basically, they will be your your bane. I just lost a Pikmin to a red to a regular dwarf orange ball orb. I feel ashamed of myself. If you could see differences. Oh, I would absolutely do that. No hesitation whatsoever. Oh, here we go. These crush and more or less one hit kill Pikmin. I'm sorry, I just never got around to learning it. Like, I played a bunch of weird games as a kid, like Backgammon I knew how to play. Just like, but chess was never one of them. I don't know why, I thought there'd be a buried treasure in there. Yeah, they really won't give you a second to breathe. I don't know. I just never learned it. It's not like I couldn't learn it. I just uh, I should have turned the bald man into a, a white. Oh well. Probably get another chance. Hopefully. Yeah, it's not that I can't learn it. I just never did. That's a yo-yo. <clears throat> I think that'll be the last treasure of this floor. Yo yo. Flame tiller. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. What do we have next? Oh, is this? I think this is the final floor. Yeah. Oh no! I thought there would be more than this. And here we have a new enemy. 
I believe it's the Bulborb Larva, but don't quote me on that. Oh wow, they're really going, going to town on my Pikmin. Oh, screw this. Screw that, I'm resetting. That's stupid. <clears throat> Alright, now I remember what I'm supposed to do here. These enemies actually, I believe they, I believe regular punches one-shot them. So what you want to actually do is just punch them. Have like one captain go, kill everything. And then have the other captain with all your Pikmin just kind of crawl up behind you. Who's gonna play bait? President, you're gonna play bait. Oh my, you'll take Pikmin. And it played the boss music already, but can we actually see what the boss is? Here it is. It's literally the most disgusting thing. do is come up there and have Olimar come up and get ready to fight. And the one freaking purple pigment. Oh, hold on, I will be right back.
Alright, sorry about that, I was getting a phone call. <laughs> oh god, it's giving birth. I hate this thing so much. Just because of how disgusting it is. That was a really good cycle. I can probably kill it this next roll. Kill, 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 no, 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 I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake. I'll rest in peace that those three whites. Mm, I lost three whites, but it's not super terrible. Outer <laughs> stink limits. And this is another one of the power of treasures. This will give us additional speed. That's that's about it. And thank you, President, for your ultimate bravery in fending off the worst thing alive. Larva and insect enemy birth. Your bravery will not be forgotten. Where is... It's right here. Get like 15 pokos from that. Yeah. <clears throat> Repundent appendage. The rush boots is concluded. Oh, I didn't know this also um made it so that you don't get blown away by puffy blowhogs blasts. I don't know why I didn't know that, but huh. It's good to know. I just thought it made you faster. <laughs> Need some speed up in here. And yeah, not really. 11 deaths. Let's see how our Pikmin stats are doing. 73 yellow still. 94 blues. 79 reds. Sixty-three whites and sixty-three purples. Alright. So those are tied. Here's what I'm going to do. Also, you can see we run much, much faster now. But it doesn't really make that big a difference since you still have to wait for Pikmin to catch up with you. The only Pikmin that can really catch up with you at this speed are or like run at the same speed as you is white flowers. Oh, I'm 
gonna do. I didn't really explain what I'm gonna do yet, but I mentioned last stream that there's a good cave for grinding purples and whites, and I did that cave last stream too, so now I'm just going to go through that cave and just grind some purples and whites. So imagine a kid was playing and asked their mom what it's doing. Oh, that poor soul. That poor, poor child. It prob it's probably happened too. Mom, I'm I'm playing the I'm playing the Pikmin game you got me. What's there's some something's wrong. What's what's this thing doing? Timmy, I don't want you playing these video games anymore. Timmy, turn off the console now. Poor kids. There's not really much to talk about while I'm doing this, so I'll try and think of a story. I don't know. I guess I can talk about random school stories. We... So I guess I've never really said this, but I'm a business student doing computer programming on the side as a minor. So, I was in computer programming yesterday, and we were going over our next assignment. So the prof says, alright, if you check online on the website, you'll see I've made a shell of the program. I want you guys to take this and just add in the code to make it complete, and make it run, run properly. So, we download the code, and he's like, alright, now that everyone has it, let's go over this. And then he opens it himself on his computer at the front of the class and just then realizes that he left half the answers in. And he just kind of spent like a good 20 seconds looking at the screen and then just kind of like smiled and was like, well, I've done half the assignment for you. It was like the more difficult part too, so oh well. I take those, I guess. Yeah. I suppose, um, I guess what I can go over right now is that 
As I was saying, Tuesdays and Thursdays, my classes don't start till 2.30 in the afternoon. However, we are supposed to get a really bad snowstorm tonight, starting at... I think it's supposed to start at 4 or 5. So I'm banking on that they'll cancel classes from 2... If they cancel classes from 2.30 onwards, then I don't have to do any homework for... Because I have an assignment that I need to finish up for 2.30. So, I'll probably cut the stream in half an hour or so, so I can start working on that. But if classes are cancelled, then I just don't need to do that, and all I need to do is run into school so I can hand in one assignment, then come back home. I'm curious, what does this hold? Nothing. Freaking far away. Oh god, that would have been terrible to have spawn right in front. Does he take damage from explosions? Oh yeah, he does. Huh. I suppose that's good to know. It already started where you live? Whereabouts are you? You don't need to be super specific, but... Ooh. Ooh. That's another good thing about doing this, is that you can grind, uh, the eggs for potions. Oops, I almost messed that up. Oh shoot. Also get the queen candy pop butts so I can use those to get more reds at least. That's why I usually only come in here with 50 or so Pikmin then I can leave with a few more. Cause yeah they give you 8 back. I got plenty of nectar. Can you pop by? Since the next floor is the final floor, you can just eject right here. So I'll probably just do this routine one or two more times. 
So they give you 15 more whites, 15 more purples. So as long, you essentially the idea is you want 100 purples. So as soon as I get 100 purples, I'm fine. And it's barely cutting into the daytime at all too, which is nice. Back to the cave. But yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to stream Pikmin 2 today. Because, mainly because of that assignment that I have to do before class. And I had another assignment that needs to be handed in today, which is why I have to go into school regardless. But I really wanted to play Pikmin 2, so I stayed up till like, I'd say like 1.20, 1.30 last night, <laughs> just finishing my stats assignment. You've never really lived until you stay up late doing an assignment. It's, it's a nice feeling. It's a real nice feeling. And the best part is I didn't even just go to bed afterwards. I was like, oh sweet, I finished my stats assignment. Now I can finally sleep. And then I remembered another episode of something I'm watching came out. And I was like, oh shoot, I gotta watch this first. <laughs> it's only one, it's already 1.30. May as well just screw everything else even harder. Please don't pick me up. It's nice that it always shows uh, where the cave, or where like the cave exit is to go to the next floor, despite not having seen the whole area. So I can just see where it is and then go there on my own. You don't really need a hundred whites. It's not completely necessary. However, stupidly enough, there is a treasure that requires 100 purple Pikmin to carry it. So that's why you need to grind up to 100 purple Pikmin. I believe I had 78, so I only need to do this two more times. It's a real good waste of nectar. I have to make sure they all get in this one spot of nectar that's left.
Oh, goodness. I suppose I can check online and see if classes have been cancelled yet. No. As of 10 a.m., so 45 minutes ago, everything's still open. Monitoring conditions will let everyone know if we must close. Oh, wait, the case not here this time. I know this floor has like a set layout, which is always the same, however, as you can blatantly see, sometimes the caves are in different positions. It's just another thing I like about Pikmin 2, it's always something different. to get to that cave. I was just kind of curious, because I know there's one that roams around. Maybe you should stop. I don't want you to stop from doing important things. No, it's fine. Class starts at 2.30, and after this, I'm, go I'm going to stop soon anyways. Basically, the idea is... Um... The idea is I have one assignment already done, all I need to do is go into school and hand it in. And another assignment I has to be done before class at 2.30, which all it is is a rough draft of another assignment we're doing, so I'm not super worried about it. I can do it fairly quick. I can do it within like an hour's time. I already did a lot of research for it last night before I went to bed. All I need to do is basically just write it. So I can do that while I'm making lunch or something after this. What I'm probably just going to do is do one more cycle of this, get all the get over a hundred whites and purples, and then I'll probably cut the stream there, and then tomorrow I'll, I'll probably finish up Perplexing Pool first. Thanks for being considerate. That is nice. 
I'm a fairly well-off student. Like, despite playing games in the morning, I always attend every class because I'm not the best studier, so I find it's easier to just go to class, attend everything, and make sure you understand it in class, and then if I need to do anything outside of and then if I need to do anything outside of class, I will. At one Pikmin, ne we'll never get to see the daylight. spent a lot of yesterday doing schoolwork just so I could catch up so I could slack off today, so. There's give and take. I mean, assuming the weather isn't terrible tomorrow, I'll do a stream. If the weather is bad, I'll probably have to shovel and I might not stream. But I have part of Saturday night. Sunday, all dedicated to doing schoolwork, too, so. Where usually people are just like, oh, I'm gonna work on school throughout the week and then slack off on the weekend. I'm kind of the opposite, and I just kind of slack off throughout the week and then do everything once it needs to be done. I'm not really a last minute person, but. Wait, why did I press that? I get everything done. When it comes to school, you just gotta... You just gotta do what you're used to, and... Once you find something that works for yourself, stick with it. Granted, if that's not working, then find something else. But don't really listen to what other people say, because everyone goes about school differently. That's far out, don't you think? Oh, there's another. Uh, I don't really need it. I don't need any more whites than I already have, so. I'll just get the ones on this floor coming up. I could essentially just skip this white floor too. No, I think I might. I don't need any more whites anymore, I just need the 100 purples. I am gonna try and get these though. Those white 
kitty pop buds are really tempting. No, I don't need any more white. Good advice to me. That's good. Just always do your best. See the cave there. It is nice that I got the speed shoes power up before I went and did this, because this would be a lot more tedious had I not had it. Granted, it doesn't increase the speed a lot, but it is noticeable. Oh, I see it right there. That's a dead end. Yeah, figured you would be there. Where's your roaming brethren? Is that him over there? Yep. I'm always scared that that thing's just gonna spawn right next to my Pikmin. And then massacre me while I'm just trying to find the cave. Which granted, I'm really surprised didn't happen, but I'll take it. And one last time. Separated, but oh well. That's why I wanted the leaf separated. That's all we need.
And that way I don't lose any more red Pikmin than I already do. So I think I have 52 red Pikmin now, if my math is correct. Unless I miscalculated how much the candy pop buds give you again. Nope, 52. And 100 purples. And there we go. So that gives us 52 reds, 73 yellows, 94 blues, 93 whites, and 108 purples. That should be good enough. See you, I'll tune in more. Thanks. I'll, like I said, I'll be streaming tomorrow if the weather isn't too terrible. Probably around the same time, maybe later in the day. We'll just have to wait and see how that goes, though. Otherwise, Tuesdays and Thursday mornings at around this time. It kind of varies. I post updates to Twitter. Not too often, but often enough. Aside from that, that should be good for today. When I come back next, I'll prob... Yeah, I may as well finish up Perplexing Pool. Because I'm done this area now. I guess we can just check in. 420 Pikmin. Louie, we suddenly stop hearing from you. Everything okay? Things get tough. You can always come home. I'll stock up on those pick pick carrots you love. Oh, jeez. So yeah, that's that area 100%, Awakening Wood 100%. In the next part, I'll go back to the Perplexing Pool and finish up the five above ground treasures we're missing, as well as visiting the shower room. Thanks for watching everyone.